Let's get right into it. Number 11. The innocent Wi-Fi signal. You can't see it, you can't feel it, but it's everywhere. Wi-Fi uses electromagnetic frequencies to make your life easier, but some studies suggest those signals might interfere with brainwave patterns, especially during sleep. While there's no solid proof of long-term harm, people exposed to constant EMF have reported insomnia, headaches, and brain fog. Even if it's all placebo, that's still your brain saying, hey, maybe don't sleep in a microwave. Fun fact, there's an entire community of people who claim to be electrosensitive. They live in Wi-Fi free zones sometimes underground, just to escape the invisible buzz. So yeah, we invented omnipresent magic air, and then got scared of it. Number 10. The Innocent Elevator Button Ah yes, the placebo button of civilization. You press it, it lights up, you feel powerful, but most of the time, it does nothing. Over 80% of pedestrian crossing and elevator closed-door buttons are completely disconnected, installed just to make impatient humans feel in control. And yet, it works. Psychologists call it the illusion of control. And it's one of the oldest psychological tricks in the corporate design handbook. You feel calmer because your brain believes it's taking action, even when the universe, or the elevator, ignores you entirely. So the next time you furiously mash that close button, remember, you're basically role-playing as a god in a simulation. That doesn't care. Number 9. The Air Conditioner of Doom You love that icy breeze. You need it. But your AC might secretly be lowering your immune defenses. Constant exposure to artificially cooled, recirculated air dries out your mucous membranes, your body's first line of defense against airborne germs. Plus, poorly maintained systems are basically bacterial theme parks. Studies have found colonies of Legionella, mold, and other microbial freeloaders chilling in AC units just waiting to blow directly into your lungs. So yes, it's refreshing, until your sinuses become a petri dish. Number 8. The Microwave Paradox You stand there, waiting for your leftovers to heat, completely unaware that the device in front of you used to terrify entire generations. When microwaves were first introduced, people legit thought they caused cancer, sterilized men, and melted your insides. Ironically, that fear wasn't totally unfounded, not the melting part, but the radiation part. Microwaves use non-ionizing radiation, which technically can't mutate your DNA. But that doesn't mean it's entirely harmless. If your microwave door seal is damaged, it can leak electromagnetic waves strong enough to mess with pacemakers or cause headaches in sensitive people. Plus, microwaving certain plastics can release microparticles of chemicals like BPA, the kind that loves to mimic hormones and confuse your endocrine system. So yes. It's convenient, it's fast, but every time you nuke your leftovers, there's a non-zero chance your Tupperware is plotting hormonal sabotage. Number 7. The Innocent Printer, a.k.a. Office Demon. It jams, it groans, it spews error codes that make no sense. But behind the chaos lies a darker truth. Laser printers emit ultra-fine toner particles, microscopic dust that can slip deep into your lungs. Long-term exposure in unventilated offices has been linked to respiratory irritation and inflammation. Some researchers even compared the particle output of a busy printer to that of a cigarette, which means that your 200-page report might have been printed at the cost of your lung cells. So yes, your printer might be the pettiest coworker of all constantly sabotaging deadlines and quietly trying to kill you. Number 6. The Alarm Clock Torture Device Every morning, it screams at you. You hit it. It screams again. And somehow, we all decided that this was normal. The modern alarm clock might look harmless, but it's basically a tiny machine built to give you a heart attack in your sleep. When that jarring sound explodes through your bedroom, your body immediately triggers a fight-or-flight response, cortisol spikes, adrenaline floods your system, and your heart rate jumps like you just saw a bear. Over time, this daily microtrauma trains your body to expect danger first thing in the morning. That's why some people wake up already tired or anxious their day starts with a biological panic attack. Congratulations, your morning routine is actually just a mild stress test. Number 5. The Electric Toothbrush Conspiracy You thought you were just improving dental hygiene. Turns out, you were also auditioning for a role in a future vibrational anxiety study. Electric toothbrushes vibrate at frequencies that can trigger vertigo or even mild tinnitus in sensitive people. 
Some users report that using them daily messes with their inner ear balance. A. K. A. The thing that keeps you from walking like a dizzy cartoon character. But the weirdest part? That tiny buzzing motor also trains your brain to associate routine with reward. Which sounds good until you realize it's the same neural loop used in addiction patterns. In other words... Brushing your teeth with an electric toothbrush is like giving your brain a daily slot machine pull but with mint flavor. So yeah, you might have great dental health, but also a subconscious craving for vibration-based validation. Number 4. The Fitness Tracker Stalker You bought it to get healthy, but somewhere along the way it became your tiny, glowing judge. Fitness trackers are supposed to help you move more, but studies show they can actually increase anxiety and even lower motivation over time. Why? Because your brain stops focusing on how you feel and starts focusing on the numbers. Miss your step goal by 200 steps? Boom, instant guilt. Heart rate spikes? Congratulations. Your wrist just gaslighted you into thinking you're dying. It's like having a personal trainer who never stops whispering, you could be doing more. And don't forget the data part. These little bands collect detailed info on your body's habits, sleep cycles, and stress levels. Some companies have even sold that data to advertisers. So while you're proudly closing your rings, someone out there knows exactly when you get up, eat, and have your nightly mental breakdown. So, yeah, it's technically helping you track progress, but it's also turning you into a quantified ghost haunted by your own statistics. Number 3. The Innocent Headphones. They isolate you from the noise of the world and from the world itself. Noise-canceling headphones seem peaceful, but your brain doesn't totally agree. The complete silence they create confuses your auditory system, which expects background sound. In response, your brain sometimes manufactures its own ringing, pressure, or phantom noise. Some users even report headphone hangovers, dizziness, ear pressure, and fatigue after long use. Your nervous system basically goes, Wait, did we die? and needs time to reboot. So yes, you can now get jet-lagged without ever leaving your couch. Number 2. LED lights and your zombie brain. Cool, energy-efficient, and murderously bright. LED lighting has saved the planet some electricity, sure, but it's also slowly convincing your body that nighttime doesn't exist. The blue wavelength these lights emit suppresses melatonin, the hormone that tells your body, hey, maybe don't stay awake forever. So... When you sit under your LED desk lamp at 1 a.m., convincing yourself you're being productive, your brain actually thinks it's noon in July. That's why you can't sleep, your body's clock is being gaslit by your lighting choices. Over time, this can mess with your mood, your hormones, and even your metabolism. Essentially, LEDs are like that friend who says, one more episode until the sun rises. Number 1. The Humble Keyboard Your keyboard looks clean enough, but statistically, it's filthier than a toilet seat. Millions of bacteria per square inch, most of them harmless, some not so much. Studies have found traces of E. coli, staphylococcus, and enough crumbs to start a new ecosystem. But the real side effect? Repetitive strain injuries. Typing for hours a day puts micro-stress on your wrist tendons and finger joints, eventually leading to carpal tunnel syndrome a condition that makes your hands feel like they're plugged into a low-voltage socket. So, while you type your productivity into existence, your body is quietly filing a workers' comp claim. 